it comes to biology, there is a topic called enzymes. Okay? So if I were to ask you to define what enzymes are, what can you say about enzymes? Uh, you just say uh, these are, okay, they are biological, okay, biological substances that speed up, okay, they speed up the chemical reaction okay these are biological substances that speed speed up up speed up okay speed up the chemical reaction okay so that's all about it. enzymes if you are asked to define or to say anything about enzymes, you just say they are biological substances that speed up the chemical reaction. Okay? All right. So now these enzymes, they've got what we call characteristics. So what are some of the characteristics of our enzymes? We'll uh, talk about the basic five characteristics of, uh, of, uh, of an enzyme. In case you are writing an exam and you ask to, to list them, these are some of the characteristics you must be listing. So it has got a catalytic property. That's one. I will explain what each each uh, characteristic mean. Uh, we've got uh, this one, specificity. It's also a property. We've got uh, reversible. So it's a reverse, reversibility. Right here, reversibility. We've got uh, Sensitivity, sensitivity of uh, heat. So this is another property of uh, of uh, enzymes. We've got uh, this one, protein in uh, nature. So now, what do each property or what do each characteristic? mean right here okay what do they mean so the first one here means it is a catalyst okay an enzyme we, we know that it is a, a catalyst of course if you are asked to define at some point if you so wish you can say it is a catalyst of course we know and this is why we do have this characteristic okay when we talk about uh, specificity specificity this one comes from the word specific. That's where it comes from. So uh, an enzyme is like this. It has got, uh, and we can we or we can explain using an idea of uh, a key and a lock. Okay, so it has got this shape right here. Uh, and we call this an enzyme, right? This is an enzyme. And it has got an active, this one, active site. So we call this part as the active, active site. So remember, in case you are told to, to tell this part, you see this shape right here, it's called an active site. There is another, another stuff which looks like this. We call this as the substrate, substrate. So now what happens here? This substrate will enter, this will bind, so it will look like this. Okay, it will bind right here. So when it binds, it means now the enzyme is uh, is is its activity is happening or it's it's working now. Okay, the process is working. Now it's not everything that goes on. 
this or in this shape. The specific thing here that enters here, it's a, a substrate, okay? No other thing that can go in here, okay? If this thing cannot go in here, it means that this enzyme won't work. It won't work. The process will not work. So this is what we need to know about the specificity. We go to reversible. So reversible here, this reversible, uh, the reaction can be reversed, okay? Some reactions can be reversed. That's what it means. And uh, when it comes to sensitivity of heat, it's very sensitive. Enzymes are very sensitive when it comes to heat. The more, the more you are heating, uh, the more active they become. And they reach a certain point, like this, if you have got a graph like that. So, you see, it's going up, up, up. Okay, let me, let me put it like this so that you can see nicely. You've got a graph like this. This graph will be going up, up, up. It will reach a certain point and then start, starts dropping. Okay? So, this is tem temperature right here. So, this is how active the enzyme, the enzyme is, this side. Active, ac ac activeness of the enzyme. So it's very active as you are increasing the, the temperature. It's going to reach somewhere here where we call optimum temperature. Optimum temperature. When it reaches optimum temperature, it will definitely start dropping like that, dropping. So that's what happens with the enzymes, okay? So in case you, you are in an exam and they ask you to find the optimum temperature, you just come right here check the number that is here pick that number and then at times they will ask you that at which point was this enzyme okay was this enzyme denatured when we say denatured denatured it means it has been uh the shape has been um, has been uh should i say changed the shape has been changed like i showed you like it has got the a shape like this now, when it reaches this point, as it is dropping, the shape will keep on changing. So it's like this. Uh, maybe here, as it was increasing, the shape was like, like this. Now it reached somewhere here. It started dropping. The shape started changing, maybe like that. You see? The shape is changing such that the substrate, because the substrate looks like this, cannot go in. You see here, meaning the substrate won't go in. When it reaches completely denatured, maybe the shape will just be like this. You see? You see the way it looks? Just like that. It means now it cannot be used anymore. It's uh, being uh, changed or denatured. Okay? So that's all about the sensitivity of, of heat. So now uh, it's, it's also protein. It's a protein in nature. So we just have to know that, oh, enzymes are protein in nature. Okay? So that's all about uh, the characteristics, okay? We can now talk a little bit about uh, what really affects, okay? The factors that affect uh, enzymes. There are factors that uh, disturb or affect the enzyme. So what are those factors? So we'll say factors that affect enzymes. So what are some of those factors? You can put them, you can list them if you have an idea before I put them here and just compare. All right, so let me start. The first one is tem temperature. Temperature, temperature. This temperature really affects temperature affects the affects the 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 performance of uh, uh, an enzyme like i showed you temperature will definitely affect the enzyme it will be denatured at some point if the temperature is too high okay also uh, ph the ph affects the, the enzyme as well okay so when there's too much uh, acid in the ph Enzymes will be affected. When there's too much uh, alkaline, it will also be affected. So that's a thing. We also have uh, concentration. Concentration. Concent concentration. 
over substrate substrates okay when you have got two much substrates the enzymes will, will definitely be affected also concentration over enzymes will also affect the 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 enzymes all right i think we end right here i just thought i should share with you guys what you need to know when it comes to enzymes the basic things that you need to know when it comes to enzymes bye bye